Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. This is 700 years before Jesus was born. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. So you have here a son who is going to be the Mighty God. Now, Shabir would interpret this in some other way because he's going to be interpreting this through Islamic lenses. I'm interpreting it through the lens of the teachings of Jesus. And so if, I'm, if, if it's okay for Shabir to go to the Quran and say, now I'm going to interpret in the light of the Quran, why wouldn't I interpret in the light of the words of Jesus? Now, of course, Shabir would say, but Jesus never made these sorts of claims. All our records say that he did. All, every possible source we can go to identifies Jesus as the Son of God. Shabir says, well, we don't know who wrote these. We don't know who Luke was going to. Luke specifically says he went to eyewitnesses. And Luke is just one of the sources. He's just one. And that's the point. It's everywhere. It's in all the sources to say that everyone's identifying Jesus as the Son of God and everyone got it wrong. You must, you have to view Jesus' disciples as the biggest bunch of failures in the history of humanity and Jesus himself as one of the biggest failures in the history of humanity. If Jesus couldn't choose, couldn't pick one single follower who would faithfully carry on his message and make sure that message got across, then what, what, what do you think of Jesus? And what do you think, his, think of his followers? And not only that, it's God who says he's going to be preserving this in Islam. God says he's the one who's preserving this. And Shabir says, yes, but God's very tolerant. And so he's going to let people, he's going to just let people completely corrupt Jesus' message like this? God's going to just allow people to corrupt after all the work Jesus did, right? Being born of a virgin, preaching Islam at birth, living this miraculous life, and then being rescued. And God's just going to say, oh, well, you know, give it some time. And even though they're going around saying Jesus is the divine son of God who died on the cross for sins and rose from the dead, I can put up with those sorts of differences. But the problem is, as time goes on, then instead of simply correcting that and saying those messages, those records have been corrupted and then correcting it that way, the same God who tells us Jesus isn't the son of God, he didn't, rise, uh, he didn't die on the cross and he didn't rise from the dead, also tells us judge by the gospel. We have no ground to stand upon unless we stand seconds. upon the gospel, the Torah, and the other revelation that has come to us. Shabir says that means the Quran. Not in the Quran it doesn't. Again, it distinguishes between the revelation to the, to the people of the book and to the Muslims. So he's telling us, don't believe these things that Christians say, but you'd better judge by the texts that say these things. And that means Islam is simply incoherent. What do we do at the end of the day? We have to trust that God knows what he's doing. If Jesus has that kind of authority, we need to listen to him, and he claimed to be the son of God.